The state says these are illegal slot machines operating in strip malls in Lorain County. The Ohio Casino Control Commission raided locations in Amherst and in Elyria today. Investigators say operators were paying out cash in violation of Ohio law. Chief Investigator Ron Regan has been looking into the proliferation of unlicensed gambling halls, and he was there when gaming equipment, cash, and documents were seized today. Our exclusive investigation took you inside several skill game centers that raise questions about their compliance with state gambling regulations. So if any device is paying out cash and it's not at an authorized casino or racino in the state of Ohio, they are doing so in violation of Ohio law. Just two weeks after our original investigation, agents from the State Casino Control Commission raided two other skill game centers, including this one here in Elyria, for suspected illegal operations. Today, the commission served search warrants on two locations that are associated with potential illegal gambling um, and partnered with local law enforcement and the local uh, prosecutor's office. At Game City in Elyria, and Lucky Arcade in Amherst. Investigators seized gambling machines as well as records. Today's raid in Elyria is right across the street from three other gambling centers the commission shut down several years ago, among 88 investigations. The commission says our investigation brought to light a serious problem across Ohio. To make folks aware that these places may seem legitimate, um, these places have done an excellent job sort of masking their true intentions, both from you know, local law enforcement, local governments, the public, their patrons. Um, and so anytime we can raise awareness of what people should be on the lookout for um, with these illegal type of places, uh, we, we do appreciate that. There have been no arrests in today's raid, but the facilities remain shut down. In Elyria, I'm Chief Investigator Ron Regan. And earlier this week, a skills game operator from Stark County was sentenced to three years probation after his businesses were raided. According to our partners at the Canton Repository, it was part of a sweep by the feds three years ago. Todd DeMichel pleaded guilty to conspiracy to operate illegal gambling businesses and money laundering conspiracy earlier this year. He was also fined $15,000, had to give up $115,000 seized from a safe in his home.